Hey guys, welcome welcome to the Movie Geek channel with a unexpected video. Um, I just came back from run, my morning run. Um, trying to lose weight. That's my goal. Anyways, I'm we're not talking about that. But we're gonna talk today. Video. I'm just, I'm gonna take a journey on. Is today is the day. Today is the fifty percent of Criterion sale on Barnes and Noble. I'm excited. Yet, my wall is gonna hate me. But yeah, this is a really exciting time. It's November, and that means another round for the Criterion 50% off sale. I'm really excited, really look forward. I just gotta hit up the showers and get ready to go to McAllen, and I will drive from my hometown, because in my hometown, we don't have Barnes & Noble, so I have to go drive an hour long drive by myself with music on, and just, Enjoy the ride for me because this is my happy place. This is my happy moments because I love Criterion's more than anything in the world. I love collecting them. I love watching them. The new film that I had not seen or discovered for the very first time. And a film that is interesting, interests me that is something different, unique. And I just cannot wait to get more Criterion's into my collection. I'm going to tell you what my definites are. My definites are Parasite. Obviously, that's the must get for me um, when it's announced. Um, I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to get that in November sale because um, it had the black and white cut of the movie. So I'm like really, really excited to see that and how it looks. And my other definite is the Samurai trilogy. I was originally going to get it on the flash sale, but I decided to wait. And start, it starring Toshio Mifone, who I adore. He's in Seven, Seven Samurai, Rashomon. Um, lots of great Akira Kurosawa films. This is not directed by Akira Kurosawa. These are three films of Samurai Trilogy. I'm craving for more Japanese cinema. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna hit up the, the showers. I woke up like 6 a.m. in the morning so I can watch the brand new episode of The Mandalorian that just dropped on Disney Plus. Went for one. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna hit up in the showers. So, let the day begin. Let's make this a good day. Shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, I just arrived from my Cullen. And I am here. I don't know if you can see. There it is. Barnes and Noble. Um, just like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm, my definites are Parasite and the Samurai Trilogy. And some few other um, items here and there, um, titles that I really wanted to get. I'm not too sure. But I made it. Uh, I'm excited. I'm. <gasps> yeah, I. Let's get inside, right? Shall we? So I couldn't find Parasite, um, but I'm still gonna hunt down for that, and I already got some stuff I need to get, but there's others that may be, so let's continue. Okay, just got in the car, came, you know, from Barnes & Noble, there it is, my precious. Uh, I spent a lot of money. Yeah, I, I had to put down some couple of things. Um, special order parasite. That sucks. Um, so yeah, parasite will be not in the hall until I get the package from Barnes and Noble. I put I put down the the lady vanishes and 
um, wild strawberries because I'm not seeing um, the seven seal. I want to see the seven seal first so I can get another Ingmar Bergman film in my, in, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm really pretty happy what I got. Um, the only thing I got besides is Criterion is a DVD, but it's not a Criterion. It's Doctor Who, the faceless ones, which just came out. I actually forgot forgot that this was came out in the October, the month of October, and I had to get it to my Doctor Who collection. So I had to add that. So let's go home. So I just come back from Barnes and Noble. I'm made it safely home, and. I'm really, really excited what I got for you guys and what I, sh what I picked up in the Barnes & Noble 50% off sale for the Criterion Collection. And I've always looked for, for this type of sale because I love this sale. And I can finally pick up the movies I've been wanting to get for the longest time. And here I am, I picked up 10 titles, 10 Blu-ray titles. Um, Criterion titles and this is this is the titles that I got that interest me and I want to see it um, Because originally I was planning to get red shoes and soloers, but They don't have it in store. So Yeah, I'll get it next time. Um, Nathan and Martin is sorry. I didn't get soloers um, But I'll get it next time. Don't worry um, if they have it in store and also, I, I was originally going to get Parasite, but they don't have it in store. Um, I, the, the, the employee told me that they ran out of stock. So I decided to special order Parasite to mail it in home so I can have it in hand sooner because I want that Blu-ray really much. And I really want a black and white cut. I really want to see that black and white cut immediately because I want to see how it looks. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get that. but. That was my definite. Um, Parasite was my definite, and sadly it didn't have it in store. Which I'm like, I didn't pick out. At least I got ten titles. Without further ado, let's get right into it. And of course, I'm I'll be showing in spine number order. First off, this is spine number 14, 15, 16. This is a three film trilogy, that the Samurai trilogy, starring Toshio Mifune, who you may know he's from one of the he been many many Akira Kurosawa films. Um, who was an excellent actor, wonderful, wonderful actor, and I just, this is the blue I've been wanting to get for when I start collecting Criterions, because this cover um, intrigued me into something I wanted to see, and something I'm into, I'm into Japanese cinema, and I'm craving for more Japanese cinema, and the imagery that is online looks like a painting, um, especially the one that iconic shot in it's like a sunrise sorry a sunset um, between two samurais battling like peacefully and it's like a painting it's so beautiful and there's three films for the price of one and really really excited to get into this that's the samurai trilogy next up we got the spine 201 that is a film by Vittorio De Sica um, that is Umberto D Really excited to get into this. Um, uh, more Victor the Seeker films. Yes, please, because I saw Pascal Dees for the very first time, comes from a couple of months ago, and I love that film. And after watching that film, I want to see more of his filmography, and I'm glad this was available in Criterion. I'm not too sure there's more Victor the Seeker films, but this is the one I that caught my eye, and this cover is. Beautiful. It's, um, the plot, I believe, the synopsis is, is about a relationship between a gentleman and his dog and the struggles of his life. And I'm not ready to get into that because I'm a dog lover. Any film that had to do with dogs that they're going to kill off or something bad going to happen with the dogs, just no. <laughs> just no. But this film looked beautiful, charming, my kind of film. A film that I actually needed to watch. Um, after watching Patrick Deeves, I just wanted more of his filmography, and Pedro D is a great way to start diving into more Victor De Sica filmography because I love Patrick Deeves. And also, the main reason I want to pick this up is the documentary, a 55 minute documentary about the director career. Um, with sign me up. I want to learn more about himself, about his filmography as a director, and yeah, this looks 
just charming and wonderful and I cannot wait to dive into it when I get when I'm in the mood. Next up this is Spine 217, a film by Jos Jasushiro Ozu that is Tokyo Story. Um another film I've been wanting to get for a long time and another film I really want to see for quite some time. Um just because of the synopsis and the plot and the idea just sounds wonderful and it's about this elderly couple um through some some tough times and i believe one of her daughters is taking care of them and it's a beautiful story about life that's what i'm gathering from this green synopsis i never seen any of ozu filmography i know that's kind of sad because i'm into japanese cinema and chinese cinema and i want to get more into it um actually i'm i'm already diving into a ton of it but i really want to get more into different from our, um, directors, filmmakers that I've not seen. Ozu is one of them that I've not seen, so I'm really excited to get into this for the very first time and dive into Ozu filmography for the very first time. And you got tons of extra. We've got a two hour documentary about from 1983 about Ozu life and career, and another 45 40 minute tribute to the director, um, and another documentary from 1988 about actor Chisu Ryu's work. Wow, three documentaries in one Blu-ray set. Really, really excited to get into. I know there was originally a Digipack set. I don't mind it. I'm just happy to find your own Tokyo story for the very first time. This next film is Spine 555, and this film sounds awesome. Uh, I think I'm gonna really, really enjoy this movie. It's directed by Alexander McIndrick and starring. Burt Lan Lancaster and Tony Curtis, three sweet smell of success. This cover is beautiful. The synopsis sounds so interesting, so much fun, and it's something I'm gonna be into it. I just love good dialogue from um film, and just you, you know kind of like Twelve Angry Men, you know dialogue, dialogue. I'm into this, and also we got tons of extras. We got a documentary about McKendrick, The Man Who Walked Away, a 1986 documentary. We got another 1970 documentary about James Wong, Harvey, a cinematographer. We have interviews, um, another interview and a booklet printing the essay, stack stuff. Really, and also, this is something I've always wanted to pick it up for a long time. Never had this chance to, and I finally owned it, and I can never wait to dive into this, and it just looks and sound really interesting. Something I'm interested in seeing. We got Spine 575. This is directed by Stanley Kubrick. The Killing. I was gonna grab Barry Lyndon, but they didn't have Barry Lyndon, but that's okay. I can get it next time. Um, I'm in no rush getting it, but this is the one I really want to see because it's a heist film. And I love heist films, like Intensity and the characters. I'm into that kind of, th that kind of film. And this is a, a uh, a great set that include another film by Stanley Kubrick, Killer Kiss. Um, so it's two films in the price of one. This one looks so much fun. Very Stanley Kubrick and early work of Stanley Kubrick, which is kind of cool. I need to dive into more Stanley Kubrick films. I need to see Barry Lyndon. I need to see Doctor Strange Love. I've have only seen Stanley Kubrick like notable iconic films like A Clockwork Orange, 2001: Space Odyssey, Spartacus and much more that I've seen, full metal jacket I've seen. But it, I'm really excited to dive into one of his earlier works. So, 1956, yeah, The Killing. Spine 596, this is one of the cheaper um, criteria. It's worth $14.99 instead of $19.99. And I don't see I'm okay. This is another Japanese cinema, Three Outlaw Samurai. This looks so much fun. I love me some great samurai films. Um, not a lot hold with extras. Actually, there's no extras in here. It's just just a trailer. And honestly, I'm okay because I just won the movie. And I believe this was originally gonna make a franchise, but that didn't happen. Um, just the first film. So this looks so much fun. I don't know who is in it. Um, that I'm, I'm not familiar. But but other than that, this looks so much fun. Three Outlaw Samurai. Yeah, it's just. This cover alone, she's like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up. I was not planning to pick this up, but 
Why not? I'll pick it up. Um, blind buy, so whatever. We got one and only Alfred Hitchcock that I got for this sale. This is buying 643, by the way, that is the man who knew too much. I've always... Every time I went to Barnes & Noble over the years, I've always looked at this cover. This cover just intrigued me. And knowing this is an Alfred Hitchcock, I, um, back then I always seen a couple of Alfred Hitchcock. Nowadays I've seen many Alfred Hitchcock over the years. This is the original, by the way. I have I do own the remake that came with the box set of all the Alfred Hitchcock films. But I really want to check out the original first before I go to the remake starring Jimmy Stewart. But this looks a very Alfred Hitchcock film. That's all I can say. Um, I was also I'm planning soon in the future. I'm planning to get um Lady Vanishes, Dirty Night Steps, Rebecca. But for now, the man who knew too much is the one I'm wanting to get the most. Um. But later on, I'll get Thirty Nine Steps and the Lady Vanisher and the rest of Alfred Hitchcock films that is available on Criterion. But this just looks really, really great. And I believe there's some familiar faces that, yeah, Peter Lore, yeah, Peter Lore, who is an action actor. He's in Fish Land M, I believe. That's him. Yeah, phenomenal actor. Um, you know, I've seen some of his work. Um, I believe he was in Casablanca, he's in Fish Lang M, he's a phenomenal actor, and I cannot wait to see him again in another film in it other than an Alfred Hitchcock film. So, really, really excited to get into watching the original, and after I, I would be finishing, honestly, I'm going to do a double bill. Um, I'm, planning, I'm planning to do a double bill between the original and the remake, hopefully soon in the future, and I will do that. I'll probably do that on video. If I can do it. Spy 907. West Point 1918. Dr. by J.W. Fasps. I believe that's how to pronounce his last name. I have. I haven't seen his other work. Um, Camera Shaft. I also got that in the July sale. Um, I haven't even opened it. So I decided to get this. Because this is a, another film from him. And I heard from people. This, is, this would do a great double bill. Between Camera Shaft. And West Point 1918. This is a World War One film that takes place in the final mo final months of World War One in France, and this is about the experience and all that. And I I'm a sucker for war films, and this is a uh you know yeah this is a must get for me. Um, I want to see. I'm I'm definitely gonna see this one, but I'm gonna hold on and do a double bill between Camera Shaft and West Point 1980. That'll be an interesting double. Double bill. So this is from 1930. So this looks really um great from from the images that I saw online. This looks great, and I'm really really excited. And this cover is just intriguing, and I'm really excited to get into this. This is one. This is part of the Nathan um, Nathan Hill recommendation that he did on a video on a couple of months ago before the July self starts, and he mentioned this, and it just sounds super inter interesting. From him, that is in the heat of the night. Um, there you go. In the heat of the night. Um, starring Sidney Poitier and Ross Ra Steiger. Yeah, from him. Um, the way he talks about this movie just sounds so interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna get that <laughs> in the future. And just it's a a detective story. So yeah, that's all. That's all I want to know. That this is a detective story. Um, I heard lots of great things about this one, and I'm really excited to get into this. It just looks so much fun and interesting, and just something I can I want to get into it really, really soon. Lastly, but not least, other than Parasite, which is not my hands, kind of sucks. Hot take: I never seen any David Lynch films. I know. All I can say is that his films are not my cup of tea. I have seen some couple. Of Clips um, from Blue Blue Velvet and the Razor Head and other film work. I've not seen Tree Picks, um, but David Lynch as a filmmaker, something his films are not my cup of tea. But I will get into it once um, in the future, um, just just to see what it is and just as a curiosity that I want to see his filmography is. And this one. This particular film just came out a couple um, weeks ago and just it sounds amazing and it's starring Anthony Hopkins and John Hurt and this is Spine 
1051 that's the elephant man other than the other david lynch works that never interest me never in my cup of tea but this one for whatever reason it intrigued me by the plot and yeah this is something i want to see because the imagery that i saw it looks amazing and john hurt who i adore as an actor and also Anthony hopkins david lynch is never my cup of tea i think his filmography the way i've seen some clips on youtube it's just it doesn't grasp me a attention. It doesn't grasp me. But this one, whatever reason, it does grasp me. And it got my attention that I want to see this one. Um, you know, it's, this is about a man who is a deformed. And people call him the elephant man because of his deformed, deformed face. And I, think, I, I believe Anthony Hopkins is a doctor trying to help him and create a friendship. And... That's all I can like I gather from the um, synopsis in here, and you got a 4K digital restoration of this movie. You got a, a couple of interviews. We have a doesn't want documentary about the film, and yeah, there's the load of extras. This just came out, just came out on Criterion for the very first time, and I believe this never released on Blu-ray for the longest time. So, yeah, I hope this is a jumping on point for. The Road to David Lynch film work. I really do want to check out Eraserhead and um, what's the other one? Blue Velvet, Mahalo Drive, and I believe Twin Peaks, the film. Um, I really want to get into his filmography. It's just his films never got, got my attention, never, and never cup my, my cup of tea. And I, I'm glad that if you love David Lynch work, that's great. Um, for me, I want to start with this. If I loved it, I'll I'll watch it. Raise your head, and blue velvet, and just get into it. Cause I've seen some clips. It's just it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't grab for me as a film as a film director as a filmmaker as a, a film, as a film student. That it's not my style. It's not my cup of tea. I'll say. It. Anyways, sorry for the long rambling, but Alpha Man. Really, really excited to get into this. The, the images and the film. I heard lots of great things. This is 1980. Um, yeah, really excited to get into this and just happy to own it on Criterion nonetheless. Yeah, I picked up 10 titles from their sale, the November sale. Really, really happy. These are films I'm interested in seeing. Um, tons of films for me to watch. There's other Criterion films that I need to get into before I dive into this. The stack of films that I got today. Um, other than that, I that, also picked up Doctor Who, The Faces 1 on DVD while I was buying the Criterion. I forgot this came out, so I'm not going to talk about that because Criterion is the main focus. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can't believe what you think of the title that I picked up and what you got for the, the November sale. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give a like, comment down below. Have a great day. Take care.